Tom as we get ready to kick off the brand new year 2024. She's joining us from an undisclosed location in the state capital or somewhere in the capital city. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning. Let's talk about uh, all the things to come in 20 and 24, including if you want to ring in the brand new year on day one, you can kick off by getting out and doing some fun stuff in this unseasonably warm weather we've had. Right. You can join Iowa DNR at the first day hikes on January 1st. This all happens in the morning, so you're home in plenty of time for those ball games. There's two dozen state parks and forests offering guided hikes with park staff and friends groups. I know Bellevue State Park is offering a self-guided scavenger hunt, while Cedar Rock State Park has an outdoor yoga session planned. You can find all the participating parks and more information at iowadnr.gov. And a little later in the month, uh, and there, there's a lot of surprising outdoor things to take in in January, uh, the 20th is uh, coming up and it is the 40th annual Bald Eagle Appreciation Days in Keokuk. Tell us all about this. Yes, there will be eagle viewing along the Mississippi River at Victory Park with trained spotters from Lee County Conservation. Free spotting scopes are available at Victory Park and the Southside Boat Club. There will also be special activities to mark that 40th anniversary. January 25th through the 28th is the University of Okaboji Winter Games in Arnold's Park. If for only reason just to go see the beauty of Arnold's Park, get up there and check this out. I know. See, it is more than just a summer destination up there in Okaboji. For over 40 years when the temperature drops, things heat up on the frozen waters of Lake Okaboji. It's a winter tradition that brings tens of thousands of people to the Great Lakes area for three days of family fun. Those events include a kite festival, flag football, broom ball, human foosball, a chocolate classic, chili cook-off, a polar plunge, fireworks, and my personal favorite, the burning of the greens. Jessica O'Reilly with us from TravelIowa.com. What is the burning of the greens? So they put all the town's um, evergreen wreaths and trees into a giant bonfire and set it aflame. Is there any risk of getting it so warm that the water or the ice melts, or is that just not a concern? It's not. That one's not done on the water, and there are <laughs> fire, there's plenty of firemen around to watch it. <laughs> well, uh, closer to home here, uh, on the 27th of January, down in the Amana Colony is Winterfest, the 2024 edition. Yep, an annual festival, of course, and the Amanda is all about fun and games and the snow. You can take part in the best beard competition, the great Amanda ham putt, or the wreath toss, and eat some delicious open fire chili while watching an ice sculptor or a local chainsaw artist. Throughout the day, there will be a wine walk to taste all of Amanda's local wines. You can also join the Amanda Freezer 5K Run Walk, and that evening participate in the wine and dine five-course meal experience. Ooh, that sounds good. And um, uh, let's talk same weekend Winter Rec Fest in Iowa Falls. Yep, January 27th through 28th, a winter festival focused on getting folks outside during the cabin fever part of winter. Events here include ice skating on the frozen river, a chili cook-off, fires with roasting marshmallows, hot chocolate, a demo tent offering cross-country skis, snowshoes, and fat tire bikes. That event ends with evening fireworks as well. And uh, the second to last day in January is the Explorer Series with Mike Lebecki. Tell me who he is and what the event is. Yes, this is the Civic Center of Greater Des Moines. The Explorer Series features renowned explorers, scientists, adventurers, and photographers sharing firsthand accounts of their amazing careers. So you can journey alongside 2013 National Geographic Adventurer of the Year, Mike Lebecki, to some of the most remote regions of the world, from the Greenland Arctic to the deepest jungles on the planet, his infectious drive to make the world to his infectious drive to make the most of every day offers audiences a unique perspective on the magic, power, and beauty of our planet and the common ground we all share. Uh, let's uh, Jessica, we've just got a couple of moments here. Looking back to 23, you know, you've got a chance to travel through the state of Iowa. What did you hear from people? And what was their takeaway from the year that was and maybe what they're looking forward to in 24? Yeah, overall, a very good year for travel in Iowa. I think we saw, you know, and we don't have numbers yet, but anecdotally, um, lots of visitors and lots of excitement. And um, we've got lots of new things coming online in 2024 as well. So even more reasons to visit. There you go. And speaking of visiting, traveliowa.com, what will people find when they log on the moment they get watching, uh, get done watching this fine put together program? They can find more information on these events or additional events across the state, um, as well as winter activities. And of course, from all of us to all of you and everybody over your way, a happy new year. And 
next time we get together, we're we'll already be a, a month into 2024. Crazy. We'll, we'll see you next year. Yeah, sounds good. We'll see you next year. And if you want a full list of things to do, where to go, and all kinds of travel ideas, TravelIowa.com is the place to do just that.